Hey guys, welcome back to Tennessee DIY. Today we have some Milwaukee tools that we're doing a little maintenance on. I love Milwaukee. I've had this M18 <clears throat> Milwaukee fuel weed eater. Of course, this is the one with the attachment. Got the chainsaw attachment. I've also got the hedge trimmer attachment. And um, yeah, a couple other attachments that go with it. Very reliable, had it for three years now. You can see the bottom of this has just worn out, and so we're going to go ahead and replace the head on it. Basically, falling off. It actually still works. As you can see, you can push that in. I've actually been working with it a little bit, but you know, you get weeds and vines wrapped around it and cause it to malfunction when you need more whip to come out. So, anyway, um, <clears throat> went over to Mil uh, Milwaukee. You can get Northern Tool or Home Depot. Pick this one up at Home Depot for 34 bucks. There's the new head. That'll install just like this. Easy feed, easy load. I'll show you how that works. This also comes with it. This is a metal rod that you stick into <coughs> this side. What you'll do, you'll spin this around. Let me show you the other side real fast. So you know which side I'm talking about. This side has a little grease screw that you can pull out. You want to put some lithium grease in there every now and then. I usually do it every season. Just to make sure we're full, depending on how much you weed eat. And um, then this metal rod here, you want to turn this. Watch how I can do it with one hand. Okay, there we go. I'm pushing pressure on it, and as I turn, it's just like when you're changing a wheel on a grinder. You're pushing that little rod in to get this thing to lock, and then it allows you to unscrew this um, we're gonna go ahead and put that new head on there and I'll show you the easy feed way to get it on there um, really haven't had too many issues with a lot of my Milwaukee products I did have to send this in a couple I've had this a couple years the trigger on this one kind of got worn out under warranty they put me a new trigger and I did have one of my 10 different Milwaukee batteries especially the 8.0 battery that came with this kit um, for some reason that one 8.0 seem to have a lot of problems so if you guys have any 8.0s and they seem to <clears throat> prematurely die on you um, a lot of the times those batteries I think had an issue they, they gave me under warranty a brand new battery and so um, I literally just got that back I did have to replace my small blower under warranty um, that one just quit working and I have the vacuum over there those little um, have had little quirks but other than that flawless the drills, the grinder, the circular saw, everything else, no problem. Been wonderful. So I highly recommend Milwaukee. Um, I just love it. But let's go ahead and get this head changed. I'll get in here and show you what I'm going to do. I'm going to go ahead and prop this up so I can get two hands on um, on this spool. So just give me a second here. All right. Let me hook this up and get my gloves on just in case. Okay. Got that on the stand. Get my gloves on. So I didn't we'll clean this up. Just wanted you guys to, see, guys to see how it is. I can aim this in here just a little bit more so you can see. Get my gloves on. There's back in the back. I'm doing some <clears throat> deep cutting and um, be some poison ivy on there. So don't want to get that on you. All right. So once you get this locked in, then you just want to go ahead and crank. Um, not, not necessarily on there, but see how easy that was. And to show you, I just went um, basically clockwise, okay? And then to put it back on, it's counterclockwise. Basically um, opposite of what you would do a regular nut. And so that's going to allow you to, um, for when this is spinning in the direction it wants to spin, it'll always keep it tight. So look how easy that was to take off. Aim this back down so you can see what I'm doing. All right. So I've had this on here several years, still heavy duty, and I'll still I'll still hold on to this, just because it still works as you can see. It's just I lost a little edge to it. Be a good backup in case I bust one on the rock. You can always just pop this, check it, blow the dust out of it. But as you can see, still pretty clean. See a little bit of grease in there. Um, show you up underneath here real quick. You look under here still looks pretty clean um, 
we got that little bit of grease that's coming in there from the grease porthole that's supposed to be in there and um, I think I'll put a little bit extra grease in there real quick um, I'll show you how you can do that just to keep the metal good I got some white lithium grease over here a little bit up in there that that little screw hole that I was showing you before it um, has <clears throat> grease that comes down and feeds this it basically gives a spindle a little bit of lubrication and we'll put a little bit more on this disc just to make sure we're good make sure it's get what it needs to keep it lubed up in the top here around that spindle that spins you kind of see that you don't have to do this, but sometimes that little porthole where the grease comes through can get a little clogged. So we're just going to give it a little extra just to keep it sweet and happy. Okay, make sure you get that back in there just the way you took it out. Notice these little catch holes. That's what this pin is catching on, okay? That's pretty much the same thing that you would see on a grinder wheel. Um, just insert it in here. So once that once that's back on there, make sure you get it where you can catch it so you can spin and you can that locks in you can test your screw okay we're locked in we're good this little plate will always spin it's just a free spinner all right new device screws already on there stick it on remember you're going counterclockwise okay Keep that pin on there. You wanna, don't over crank it. But you do want it snug. Alright. That should do it. See that guys? Alright, let me get my phone back here and I'll show you one more thing. So just that easy. And I haven't touched this thing for three years and that thing came off relatively simple and easy. Um, these this one's a little different. This one had the um, push on the bottom, okay, where that goes in. This one, they've refurbished it 2.0 version, where the spring is up inside here. Still easy feed. This one, this one was also an easy feed. So, but um, I'll show you here. Um, <clears throat> see these red dots? Once you start weed eating, and you're tapping this on the ground, this red dot is going to go on other areas, okay? It won't be aligned. But um, when you want to do your easy feed, make sure that these red dots are aligned. Say you're, you, you're out there weed eating and all your whip runs out, go ahead and line these two red dots up. Um, they've also put indentations on it because of course, as you know, after weed eating for about a year, you're probably gonna lose that red paint. Um, you want to make sure both of these sides are pretty close to aligning, okay? See how that's already twisting? <clears throat> I'm gonna show you how this works here. Um, let me put this back on so you can see what I'm talking about. So when you tap this on the ground, of course it's gonna roll like that. See how it just pulled that back in? You don't wanna get that all the way and you lose it. So as you tap the ground, it's gonna come out, it's gonna come out, it's gonna come out, okay? Once you run out of weed whip, make sure that these are aligned. That actually opens up an entire hole for the weed whip to go completely through. So what you'll do is you'll cut roughly about, um, hold on just a second, I'll show you. Pick yourself up some heavy duty line. Now I noticed, check this out, they've they've put 25 feet of thinner Milwaukee line. I like the more robust. This is slightly heavier duty, but we'll run through what they gave us just to be sweet. This is a 25 um, foot of line that they put on here. Um, so what you'll want to do is you'll cut about 25 feet of this, just kind of walk it off, and then you'll bend, bend your line. Don't cut it. You'll bend your line in half like that and make both both ends equal. You make both ends equal. Like say there's 12 feet on each side of this. You make both of them equal. Hold the middle point um, and then feed feed it through here. Actually feed it through first and then make both ends equal. And then once it's equal, watch this. Start whip, just start turning it. Look how it's pulling that in, okay? We don't want to pull this one because it's already new and fed. But you would just, once you whip it through that straight line when these are aligned, then you'll just start feeding it and it you rewrap it manually till you get to the length you want. There you go. Easy feed, done. Um, you don't ever t have to take it apart like you did the old ones where you had to push this, these two little buttons, pull it out. Some people think, oh, I still got to push these buttons, pull it out, 
manually feed it, try to get these to fit back through the grommet holes on there. That's the old style of, of doing it. Milwaukee's come up with this beautiful, of course, a lot of other manufacturers are doing it now too. But just line those holes up, stick it completely through, and then you manually wind it back until you get the length right about where it was gonna cut itself, keep itself trimmed on these metal, this metal natural cutter so it doesn't get too far. Um, and that's the way to do it. Easy feed, super nice. It'll save you so much time. All right, let's give this a quick little demo run, see if we can see how it whips, and I'll show you that real quick. Let's put a battery on here and um, let you guys see, make sure it's gonna work for us. Here's that new 8.0 battery. I'll usually go through a 9.0, an 8.0, and a couple 5.0s when I'm in the back, just because I have over two acres and a lot of um, a lot of landscaping that I do. So, all right, let's test this. Remember, we put a little grease in there, tighten it up. Okay, guys, here's the moment of truth. There it is. Smooth, no problem at all. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. I've had this thing over two to three years already. Literally just that cut and dry. Stop by Home Depot or Northern Tool or one of your service providers, Ace Hardware, whoever carries Milwaukee. Pick yourself up one, $34. Not too bad, actually. So, yeah, that was helpful, guys. Um, give it a thumbs up. Um, subscribe to the channel. And um, we got some more pro tips and stuff we'll bring to you different times throughout the projects we got going on. But yeah, appreciate it. Have a good one. Enjoy.